What's good, my beautiful people? Welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today I'm going to be doing Capricorn's love reading for the rest of June. A uh, couple quick announcements. If you're looking for a private reading, my information will be in the description box. If you uh, want to follow me on Instagram, I pull a daily tarot card of the day with the overall energy. You'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress as well. I am running a contest for the rest of the month. Um... All you have to do to enter the contest is like, subscribe, and comment, uh, and I will pick a winner July 1st. The winner will receive a free Celtic spread reading with me with a question of their choice and clarifiers. I will comment under the winner on July 1st. They will have 48 hours to get back to me or I will choose someone else. Um, like I said, this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As well as for the cross watcher, if you're dealing with a Capricorn or someone who has those important placements, um, this is a general love reading. It cannot resonate for everyone. Um, but if it resonates, um, please like, subscribe, and comment as well. Um, remember that the energies can be reversed and that there's no gender in tarot. So... Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I am already shuffled, prayed, meditated, and um, smudged the decks with Palo Santo. So we're going to jump right in and clear the energy. If you want to clear your own energy, just close your eyes and uh, take a deep breath and let's begin. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's jump right in. Spirit, show me what you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the rest of June, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for my Capricorn gang, Spirit. Caps in love, Spirit. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. For their highest good, ever so grateful for the blessings and the gifts. Please use me as your vessel, Spirit. One more, Spirit. There we go. At the bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. So Capricorn, you have the Three of Cups, okay? This is, could be celebrating, um, this could be um, an event, this could be coming together with friends or, or someone who's important to you. Then you have the Fool, which is taking a leap of faith. Then you have the Ten of Swords, which is some type of betrayal or ending. At the heart of the matter is the Five of Pentacles, someone feeling left out in the cold. This could apply to you or your partner or both of you as it is in the heart of the matter. You also have the Hanged One, which is the Hangman, okay? And that's for your partner. And they also have the Eight of Cups, so walking away, leaving something behind. And the Five of Swords, so some type of conflict and fighting Winning at all costs, the overall energy, Page of Wands, talks about a passionate offer. Let us begin. Uh, spirit, why does Capricorn have the Three of Cups, Spirit? Why does Capricorn have the Three of Cups? Why does Capricorn have the Three of Cups, Spirit? Why is the Three of Cups here for my Capricorn gang? So there was something that you didn't see with this moon energy, something that you were confused about, but some type of clarity came rushing in with this Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords wanting to move away to calmer waters. So this looks like um, this could have to do, well, it's in a love reading, so it has to do with love, but maybe there was some type of conflict that was brought about behind friends or at an event, or maybe at an event you learned some truth Let's get more information, Spirit. 
why is the fool here for my cap gang why is the fool here for capricorn sun moon rising and venus spirit So this new leap of faith had something to do with this Six of Cups, some type of nostalgia and reconciliation. Um, here's the Empress, which denotes uh, Libra or Taurus. This fool here um, is Pisces. Temperance, okay, so we're talking about in divine timing. So and this person might see you as their empress or you might see them as the empress. Now, this temperance is talking about a need for balance. Uh, you might have gone to the universe with something. Maybe you wanted to know because um, you had a feeling about something with this moon, something being unknown to you. And then the Ace of Swords, I mean, the Knight of Swords coming with some truth. This person rushing in, it could have been harsh. It could have been an argument. Wanting to take a new leap of faith or a risk with a reconciliation. There goes the Empress and Temperance. So some type of wish that you have went to the universe for, it might be in regards to this Empress or this person is seeing you like that. Spirit, why is the Ten of Swords here for Caps? So the Ten of Swords is being clarified by the Ten of Cups. So there was a betrayal in a happy life, happy wife, happy um, family card, okay? And there was a lot of conflict, five of wands in this situation. Now there could have been an end, a culmination to this situation. Spirit, why is the Five of Pentacles at the heart of the matter for my Cap Gang spirit? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Capricorn? So that's being clarified by the Ten of Swords, okay? So somebody feeling left out in the cold because of a betrayal, okay? So you might both feel like that, but you definitely feel like that because you have the Ten of Swords on your side and at the heart of the matter. Spirit, why the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords for Capricorn at the heart of the matter? Yeah, because somebody walked away from a foundation that was being built. And this is uh, the Nine of Swords, which is talking about anxiety, um, despair. So you might both be feeling like this, feeling left out in the cold. But you actually definitely feel like this because you have the Ten of Swords on your side. You also have the Six of Swords talking about wanting to move away to calmer waters and the moon, which is talking about things unknown that maybe you didn't know about that came to light with that Knight of, of Swords. Spirit, why is the hangman here? Hangman here for um for Cancer's, I mean, um Capricorn's partner. You might be dealing with a Cancer and I was going to say Leo too, so um that could be as well why is the ten of wands in the hangman here why is the ten of wands in the hangman here for capricorn's partner why is the ten of wands and the hangman here for capricorn's partner spirit why is the ten of wands here page of pentacles so they feel stuck because they feel like this situation was burdensome they were trying to get a new perspective but they want to make an offer, Page of Pentacles. So they probably want to meet up and like, hey, can we talk? I'd like to have lunch with you or bring you some flowers or something. Like they want to have a conversation about everything that went down. Spirit, why is the Eight of Cups here for my Leo gang? I mean, for Cap um, Capricorn gang. I don't know why I keep saying Leo. So y'all might be um, dealing with a Leo or maybe you have Leo placements. Spirit, Eight of Cups. Why is Eight of Cups here for Capricorn? Eight of Cups for Capricorn Spirit. Why does um, Capricorn's partner have the Eight of Cups? Why does Capricorn's partner have the Eight of Cups? So they were trying to manifest something, Spirit. Why the Eight of Cups with the Magician? Why the Eight of Cups with the Magician, Spirit? Why the Eight of Cups with the Magician? I think I know why, but yeah. Okay. So they walked away from you. This caused a lot of pain. You fell out, left out in the cold uh, with this five of pentacles and this ten of swords. Then that's being clarified. 
by the eight of cups so their their walking away was what caused this you felt like this foundation was crumbling you were stuck in your head uh sleepless nights behind this so then they walked away from you right they got stuck because it was burdensome right then here's the magician clarifying that talking about how once they walked away they didn't like what they saw so now they're trying to manifest you back right and in the manifesting you because of a death a transformation so you might appear different to this person right now and they're also trying to transform themselves okay from this page of pentacles okay into this king of wands so they're really coming in because the king of wands he knows what he wants and he knows how to get it so they feel passionately about trying to come in okay but they know that it's going to be hard because you have two ten of swords here you also have the Ten of Wands. You have all four. No, you don't have the... Um, which one don't you have? You have that one, that one. Okay. So, yeah, you've got three uh, Tens here. So, that says that there was a, a major ending that came. Now, they're trying to turn that energy around with this Magician after this Death and Transformation. Okay, and then the King of Wands, they're pushing for this. Spirit, why is the Five of Swords here for a Capricorn gang? Why is the Five of Swords here? So the Five of Swords here is um, they winning at any cost. So they want to win you back, right? And they're stuck in their heads about this. They feel like, again, with this hangman energy and this Eight of Swords, this is a prison of their own making because they wanted to win at any cost. They used manipulation, but you are their wish fulfillment. At the bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands, which is the home, the 1111 card. So they feel like you're home to them. Spirit, why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here for my Capricorn gang? Overall energy of the reading, Spirit. Why is the Page of Wands here, Spirit? Page of Wands with the Two of Cups. Why is the Page of Wands with the Two of Cups, Spirit? Why is the Page of Wands with the Two of Cups? Overall energy of the reading, Spirit. Oh, I don't know why these cards are giving me a hard time today. Why is the Page of Wands here with the Two of Cups, Spirit? Page of Wands with the Two of Cups. Last Shuffle, Spirit. Okay, because the Two of Cups is signifying that they want to make a passionate offer to you because they see you as their partner, their other half, the Two of Cups. They know that you're standing your ground, but they're going to come in anyway, and they're standing their ground too because they see you in your single energy, and they don't like that. They're waiting. They're waiting for you, okay? So let's get some love messages really quickly. Spirit, how do my Capricorns feel about their partner spirit? How does Capricorn feel about their partner spirit? How does Capricorn how does Capricorn feel about their partner spirit? How does Capricorn feel about their partner? How does my Capcan feel about their partner spirit? So you feel like there's some type of differences between you, maybe age, race, religion, or upbringing. You guys could have been married or you guys could have been talking about taking a commitment to a higher level, but you feel there's some codependency here. You're willing to make the effort though, because you feel like there could be your soulmate. Spirit, how does Capricorn's partner feel towards them, Spirit? How does Capricorn's partner feel towards them? How does Capricorn's partner feel towards them, Spirit? How does Capricorn's partner feel towards them, Spirit? How does Capricorn's partner feel towards them, Spirit? How does Capricorn's partner feel towards them? They want to let go of control issues. They think you're their soulmate as well, and they want to make an effort. Spirit, what's, what actions will Capricorns be taking towards their partner, Spirit? What actions will Capricorns be taking towards their partner? What actions will Capricorns be taking towards their partner? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Spirit. What actions will my Cap gang be taking? So you feel like you deserve love. And um, you'd like to heal family issues with this person. You might have gone to your friends for advice. You also think there's some type of 
codependency here. You might think they're a little bit of a flirt, but you feel like there's chemistry here and you want to forgive and learn. Spirit, what actions will Capricorn's partner be taking towards them? What actions will Capricorn's partner be taking towards them, Spirit? What actions will Capricorn's partner be taking towards them, Spirit? So they fear that, um, that your love will be unrequited. They do think that you're worth waiting for. They're trying to stay optimistic and keep an open mind. Okay. Spirit, what is the outcome for this situation for my cap gang? What's the outcome for caps? What's the outcome? So reconciliation. So it looks like you guys are going to try to give this another chance. Give this relationship another chance. You might both be going to get advice. Here's that codependency is still there. You might be flirting with each other. Uh, says it's safe for you to love. There is a lot of chemistry, forgiving and learning, but you still may free yourself because you feel like there's family issues that need to be healed. So that's what I have for my cat gang. Let me um, get some advice for y'all. Spirit, can I get some advice for my Capricorns? Capricorns for the rest of June, Spirit. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So it says here going through a rebirth, and that is factual here with this death card, rebirth and transformation. So it looks like um, you're going to be... Um, considering whether you want to take this person back. Uh, and that's what I have for you, uh, wonderful Capricorns. I'm wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.